Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Alex. I'm a third year law student in Texas and I vlog all about law school in my day to day life. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys stick around and subscribe. For this video, I'm going to be bringing you along with me today and possibly tomorrow so I can show you how I prepare for midterms. Midterms start next Monday. I have one on Monday, one on Tuesday, and one on Wednesday out of my six classes. The other three classes are not doing midterms. We are only doing um, finals and then some writing assignments like an MPT or something like that. So yes, I have to prepare for three classes. They are some of the classes that I really need to work on, so I will be doing a lot of studying today, tomorrow, obviously the rest of the week and the weekend, but I figured I would vlog today and tomorrow so I can show you the things I do, um, kind of how I break down my days and how I split the classes throughout the days and how I study for each of them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started with today. So it is Wednesday and it is 8.34 in the morning. I do have class today. I have my bar prep course right now at 10 a.m. So I have an hour and a half before that. And then I also have my conflict of laws class at 1. So I do have a little bit of a gap in between both of them. But uh, I do have to kind of fit in some studying in between the classes. And obviously after classes are done for the day. But I do also have to prepare for class. So right now, what I'm going to do is kind of just get set up for class, even though I still have a lot of time. Um, I want to go make my coffee and probably have something to eat before class starts. So that's what I'm about to do. But um, right now, I just want to set up everything that I need for class so I can just get it out of the way. And then once I come back after I make my coffee, that way I'll just get to studying and just have like my outlines ready my um, practice questions ready and all that stuff ready. Okay, you guys, I just made my coffee. Here it is. I did put a little bit of pumpkin spice on the top. So I'm about to go sit at my desk. I think one of my videos just went live. So I'm about to just go check that everything's running smoothly with that. But yeah, I made my coffee. I just used the Ice Ligero pot, I think. I did use my Nespresso and then I just frothed oat milk and then the Chobani pumpkin spice creamer. So that's my little version of my fall drink. I'm about to drink it, sit at my desk, and then get started. I think I'm going to start studying with Will's Trust and Estates this morning because this evening I want to focus all on evidence since that's the one I'm struggling with the most. I want to do as many practice questions as I can. So yeah, Will's Trust and Estates for right now. Then I have class and then I have a little bit of a break. Okay, you guys, so class just ended. I do have the dryer going on in the back, but I do want to plan out what the remainder of my week will look like because I do have midterms next week. So really quickly, here is what my midterms look like for the following week. On Monday, I have my capstone midterm, which is my bar prep class that I literally just finished right now. So in that class, we've covered evidence and all of contracts, including UCC. So that class is going to test me on both subjects. And since this class is a bar prep class, just like the bar exam would test us on all different subjects, this class is doing that too. So I do have to study for both of those subjects technically. So since I'm already studying for evidence in my other class, that kind of helps study for both classes. And then Tuesday, I have my Wills Trust and Estates midterm. That class, I think I'm pretty okay in. Um, I have a really good outline going on, so I think I'll be okay. I just need to study it a little bit more, so I do need to study. My Wednesday, which is my last midterm of the week, is going to be Conflict of Loss midterm, which I am struggling with. So I'm about to space out those three classes for the next few days. I will be out of town this day. I'm going to Austin, so... Um, I will be doing some studying if I can, but I really doubt I will. So, of course, today, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, Tuesday for these midterms. 
So that's the update. I'm about to write all that in in my planner because if not, then I don't know how much I'll get done if it's not written in my planner. I'm just that type of person. Okay, so today I'm going to solely focus on evidence. I feel like I need to drill down on evidence pretty bad and also that's my first midterm so or my for the capstone course so I'm going to practice a lot of evidence today and maybe touch a little bit on wills and then tomorrow Thursday I end class pretty early at 11 30 so I'm going to go hard on conflicts of law I have started my outline for all of these courses so I do have that going for me already which is good but I do want to do like practice questions and I like to watch videos from like other sources so I'll watch like Quimby videos if there's any. I watch the Barbary videos and I also watch Stud Studicata, Studicata, I don't know how you pronounce it but he is on YouTube and he does have a website where if you pay you can get like the full video and I have paid for that one and I will say that if you're a 1L or a 2L it's super helpful because it covers all the doctrinal classes so if you're studying for civil procedure, contracts, towards anything like that it's going to be on there so I really enjoyed those lessons from him but there are some free versions on YouTube but it's just like a shorter version so um, those are the three websites that I usually watch videos from. I don't watch all of them unless I'm really not getting anything from one of them. I'll try the next one and so on. But I don't watch all of them because then I'll get confused and then it's just a waste of time because you're hearing the same thing over and over. So that's what I'm going to try to do for evidence because I need a lot of practice, especially with my timing and evidence. I just take way too long to figure out what's going on. So that's that's kind of what I've been doing. So here I just put conflicts of law study and outline. Like I said, I started the outlines. I just need to go through them a little bit more. And then um, today I'm practicing evidence, multiple choice questions and practicing wills, multiple choice questions as well. If you guys watched me my first year of law school, you guys would remember that Barbary gave us like a very thick outline and like question book which I still have um I think there is one let me grab it there is one for 2L as well as 3L but um I never got my 2L one because it's when we were completely remote like the school was completely closed and everything so I was never able to pick it up and I just didn't get it shipped I still have the one from 1L I'm sure it looks different now but this is the one I had it's pretty beat up but yeah it's first year outlines and this is all that it covered um you can also get an online copy if you have the barbary like if you have access to barbary you can also get the pdf co copy so here it is but it does come with a lot of like multiple choice questions and essay questions but these are all one year subjects but for my bar prep course since we just started doing our early version of bar prep they did give us these extended bar preparation books. This one only covers, I think, evidence, contracts, and torts. Oh, and property. But anyways, it does have some practice questions, so I think that's what I'm going to work on right now. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys some of the Barbary books that I've used before and that have been pretty helpful. Um, of course, if you have the online version, I think they're also on there, so... Yeah, that's what I'm about to start working on. Okay guys, I just came back from North Park Mall. I had to go pick up some leggings that I bought at American Eagle or Aerie. So I had to go pick them up since I ordered them online. But while I was there, I stopped at none other than Nespresso because I was actually low on my favorite coffee pod, which is the Melosio one. So I stocked up on another one of those. So it's just the Melosio one. It's a full cup of coffee, 270 milliliters and 7.7 .7 fluid ounces so a full cup of coffee but while i was there i also picked up the pumpkin um spice pod it's actually pumpkin spice cake i picked it up i've heard good things i've seen other people make it and it just looks so good and i'm really into pumpkin stuff this year i mean i always am but not as much as i've been this year i've been trying everything so i figured why not let me try it we'll see i will probably try these tomorrow or the next day Anyways, I'm back home, about to start studying. Class went fine. We went over our quiz that went terribly wrong, but yeah, I'm home now, going to get back to studying.
everyone. Today is Thursday, so it is the next day. I only vlogged a little bit this morning when I was making my coffee and then I had to get ready for class. My second class actually got canceled, which was evident, so that class didn't happen. But I did sit at my desk and I just continued studying. I actually did like a practice midterm for Will's Trust and Estates. 10 multiple choice questions and an essay and I did pretty good. So I'm feeling pretty good about that, but I still want to continue studying. So I did study for Will's. So now I'm just going to put that to the side for now and then study the rest of the day for Conflict of Laws because I am struggling quite a lot in that class. So I am going to study for that for a good chunk of today. And if I have time, then also... Um, evidence but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to Target really quick so I can grab something to make for lunch because I don't have a lot of groceries and we're leaving to Austin tomorrow so no point in buying like a whole lot of things so I'm just going to grab something so I can make for lunch and that's the update. I did try the pumpkin spice cake pots that I bought yesterday and they're so good. I really like them. They're not super sweet and you can taste the pumpkin flavor but not like a whole lot. So with the creamer that I've been using by Chobani and oat milk, they're just perfect. So I did really like them if you guys were wondering and that's what I made this morning. So with that being said, welcome to Thursday's part of the vlog. Let's get started with another very busy day of studying. Also look at this really cute wallpaper that I got from the Ladies Who Law School page. Uh, they always make different ones for every month, obviously, and they have three different versions for Octobers. I got the one with this layout, but they have this other really cute layout. So if you guys are interested in changing your wallpapers and keeping up to date with the calendar, I'll leave the link down below so you guys can check them out. So for right now, I think I'm going to try to do some practice questions on Quimby and let's see what they look like. They do have the course as well. As you guys can see, they have all those options. This is all that the course offers, so you can go through all those things and take a quiz for each little section and then take a quiz for the whole section. So I can take a quiz on distribution, surviving spouse, whatever, whatever, and then you take a whole 20 question quiz for the whole section. So that's pretty cool. That's what I like about Quimby, but sometimes the answers aren't like formatted the way or the questions aren't formatted the way that the bar or that your professors write them so you have to be a little careful with that but if you're just trying to like grasp the the topic a little bit better um i do think quimby is helpful and especially when it comes to cases it's really helpful so i just went through an outline of conflict of laws but now i want to do some practice questions but i'm in a little bit of a situation where my good old reliable quimby and barbary don't have the subject of conflict of law so you would see it here but as you guys can see it's not there or am i just missing it i don't know i don't see it and then barbary doesn't have it either under the 1l or the 2l um plan so i don't know what to do you guys i want some practice questions so what i'm going to do is just go through this outline really really quickly and just um i guess look through the cases even though they're here i guess where i'm struggling is because i can't imagine or i i'm not sure how they're going to test um how my professor is going to test this subject like how questions can be formulated like for example evidence you get a whole fact pattern and then most likely the question is like if it's admissible or is it hearsay or whatever maybe the question's not that straightforward but you're getting to that point Whereas conflict of laws, I don't know how the questions are going to be asked. Like, I just want to get an idea and I can't find any anywhere. And also, um, I don't really have any supplements for that class. I, I think there's an e and &E book, which is another supplement that I've used before for other classes. I don't have it with me, so it's too late to order it. Obviously, it won't get here before next week. So I don't know what to do, but I do have a supplement that I accidentally ordered. It just lays out the rules. It's like an outline pretty much. So I don't know if that'll be any more helpful than the outline I have here in front of me. So that's my dilemma right now, you guys. Still going at it. Haven't moved from this seat except to take my dog out, but still going strong. Um, feeling pretty good about Will's trust and estate. So going hard for conflicts of law now. Mm -hmm. 